Hi, I'm Carl. Uh, I'm a young entrepreneur and you're watching Fresh Air TV. Uh, I started as an entrepreneur uh, when I was 16 and my mom didn't want to buy me a scooter. So I basically took my uh, American passport, um, I, I scanned it, changed the date of birth and then pacified it and hired a nightclub at 16. And that's when I knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur and work for myself. Uh, since I've set up uh, a few businesses in different industries, uh, the, the one that uh, was most successful is called Drinkies, where we're doing advertising drinks for uh, big hotel chains and um, various events. And, uh, in London, I set up a company called Lost in London, that is in the tourism industry. Uh, we're doing um, events, uh, attractions and uh, tours for the uh, language schools and international students. And recently, I stepped down as a director to basically set up an online uh, cloud ticketing platform. 2013, um, it's been an interesting year. Uh, my house burned down, insurance haven't paid me anything yet. Uh, I uh, stepped down as a director of my previous company, uh, so it's being run by someone else and didn't exit. And um, I realized the bigger opportunity uh, in the cloud ticketing space, so I developed a um, platform to help venues sell uh, to multiple resellers and uh, manage all their uh, tickets. And um, initially not sure of the market and now we're really specific to the tourism and leisure industry. Uh, we were selected by Wara uh, out of 3,500 companies to join their accelerator. Uh, we've turned it down and uh, we're now uh, seeking for some seed investment, uh, launching a franchise in the Netherlands um, and launching a franchise in France. and. Um, so, well, do okay. My mother was a corporate, and she was working for the Fiat Group in finance. And um, I never saw her. And really, literally, I, you know, I wake up in the morning and she'd leave, and I'd come back at night, and she wasn't there until quite late. Um, so I just knew I just didn't want that life, and uh, I knew that I wanted to set up my own business. And ultimately, I didn't realize that I'm sacrificing more than she did. <laughs> but um, it's it's worth it's worth your while. Uh, and uh, if you persevere and uh, you're good at what you do and you know your market, I think everyone could be successful in any industry and, uh, and you can start with nothing. Tips. Uh, one of my favorites is um, you know, when someone says yes, stop talking. So many people rattle on and then you can lose the opportunity. Um, just yes, great, thank you very much. Talk about something else. Uh, don't continue pitching. After you know having a successful business, you become quite cocky, uh, and uh, and sometimes you want to do everything. And that's what I did with uh, with a startup. Uh, I tried to create a social network for students, and I failed. And you know some of the reasons I failed, which I've, I've realized afterwards, is I tried to do too much too quickly, and it's not possible. Uh, quite the contrary, what I'm doing now is trying to take features off to make sure that we're as lean and as simple as possible for people to use and you know, really understand what the core value you bring. Um, you can't offer everything, no one's, you know, no one's perfect, no one's going to, you know, not possible. But if you can concentrate on one thing and do it really, really well, then you know, that's, the world is your oyster.